Good day, Scholasticans. We are on our week 5 lesson, Integrated Language Arts 10. The basic human right is education. Emphasize Miss World 2000 pageant winner and popular actress Priyanka Chopra when she gave a speech about women empowerment. Chopra was not even spared from discrimination though. She was blatantly told that women were replaceable in the movie industry. What does it mean? Women had to readily accept their roles without complaint and could barely make career decisions for themselves. But that one fateful situation propelled the strong-willed Chopra to create a niche in the volatile world of show business. Today, she has been acknowledged as one of the bankable celebrities. True to her words, Chopra committed herself to uplift human rights across the world. In this lesson, the students will not only read texts and watch video lectures to comply with their academic requirements, but also be encouraged to express their opinions for their voices must be heard. They are given the freedom to be creative for their brilliant ideas must be shared with others. Our younger girls today will be the future advocates of women justice and equality. Week 5 Learning Package revolves around feminist theory that aims to recognize the existence of discrimination against women and to analyze the conditions that make others think women are subordinate to men. Fast forward to the modern times, women have established themselves as equally important to men. To begin with, we are going to analyze Lucen's The New Year's Sacrifice. Lucen was the pen name used by Chinese writer Zhou Shiren. He is regarded as one of the most prominent Chinese writers of the 20th century. He is also considered as a leading figure of modern Chinese literature. Because of his works that were sympathetic to communist ideas, Lu Sun was highly acclaimed by the communist regime. He, however, did not actually join the Chinese Community Party. How would you describe the woman? How is she treated by the people around her? Why do you think they treat her this way? Can you think of things that could have led her to this way of life? Let us study Lucen's The New Year's Sacrifice. Let's read the paragraph. New Year's Eve of the old calendar seems, after all, more like the real New Year's Eve. For, to say nothing of the villages and towns, even in the air, there's a feeling that New Year is coming. From the pale, lowering evening clouds issue frequent flashes of lightning, followed by a rumbling sound of firecrackers celebrating the departure of the hearth god, while nearby, the firecrackers explode even more violently, and before the deafening report dies away, the air is filled with a faint smell of powder. Just like the Chinese, we celebrate the coming of the new year with festivities and delicious food. This signals welcoming the new year with good energy and prosperity. The introduction sets the mood of the story when the author describes how new year has become a very important occasion in their society. The writer emphasizes on the traditions and beliefs of the Chinese. Let's read the second paragraph. At all events, I made up my mind to leave the next day. Besides, the very thought of my meeting with Shang Lin's wife the day before made me uncomfortable. Only an occasional flicker of her eyes showed she was still a living creature. In one hand, she carried a wicker basket in which was a broken bowl, empty. In the other, she held a bamboo pole longer than herself split at the bottom. It was clear she had become a beggar. The author decided to leave his native place because he might have bumped into Shang Lin's wife and this would have made him uncomfortable. Here's Shang Lin's wife who seems to be excited to start a small talk to the author. She asked, you have come back? This gave way for the beggar to ask three questions. After a person dies, 
Does he return into a ghost or not? Then there must also be a hell. Then will all the people of one family who have died see each other again? The very thought of dying would make us think that this person is preparing herself for the afterlife. It could be a premonition that a beggar like Shang Lin's wife would die any moment. But life for her was unfair. Let's read the third paragraph. Before this incident, no one had paid any attention to it. But when Shang Lin's wife came to wash rice, two men looking like country people jumped off the boat just as she was kneeling down and seizing hold of her carried her on board. After several shouts and cries, Shang Lin's wife became silent. They had probably stopped her mouth. Then two women walked up, one of them a stranger, and the other, old Mrs. Wei. When the people who told this story tried to peep into the boat, they could not see very clearly, but Shang Lin's wife seemed to be lying bound on the floor of the boat. The highlighted phrases would certainly indicate that they have fixated on getting rid of the woman. Shang Lin's wife was asking for compassion, for mercy, and for someone who could help her. However, she's alone, she's an outcast, and she must have given up hope and face her suffering.